Well, it's a lovely day for it. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to get, but this is this is it. This is the attempt. We are now going around the UK, 1,500 miles. Um, really not sure quite how far we're going to get, but fingers crossed. This is it. Have you got enough petrol, Larry? Um, you grab profit. Right, come here, appearance. Get out of it. <laughs> This can't be stopped anymore, it's just got to happen. Who knows how far we get? 1,500 miles around the UK. <laughs> Cheerio! Okay, this is bloody it. This is actually it. It doesn't feel like much, but um, it might not be much, but it could be something. Look at wind, Ludovic, Delta span. Delta span, thank you. <laughs> We're doing it. Goodbye, London. See you in a bit. It's not such a nice day as before. <laughs> the sun's gonna, the weather's gonna change. It's been rainy all morning, but um, the weather's gonna, you know, it's gonna all change. So Lucy, you won't be coming with us for the whole trip, will you? Um, no. You might be surprised to learn that no one actually wanted to come with me for the entirety of this trip, uh, however long it may be. I'll just um, set you off, make sure you get into stride. We've seen our first seal, which is um, a good sign. Thames complete, we're now heading out to sea, we're turning right and we're going to be heading west. I feel a little bit scared, uh, the prospect of so much time out to sea. It's certainly a lot choppier out here than it was last time. I guess this is a taste of things to come. The first leg is 65 miles from London to uh, Ramsgate. That's taking us sort of just round the corner, really, where we then start going west. Out here in the mouth of the Thames, there's a wreck of the HMS Montgomery, which is an American uh, World War II supply ship that was full of ammunition, and it dragged its anchor and it ended up running aground here. They started removing some of the uh, explosives, but it's actually still got 1,500 tons of explosives on board, and um, it's quite unstable, and so you're not allowed any nearer to it than this. But um, so they reckon if it did actually go off, they would have break all the windows in the um, houses on Sh in Sheerness over there. And, and also there's something like, I can't remember, there's like a, a tower of water that would be thrown up 300 meters high. than I was imagining. Every now and then there's a big wave that scares you, but uh, get there. Over there is Hearn Bay. This is 
crawl stairs. That's a fish and chip shop, but it looks very closed. Very closed. Oh, look at it. Who used to live there? Uh, Charles Dickens used to live in that house there, the castly one. Uh, Rip Goodwin. We made it! I bet you're glad, glad to be getting off. Still. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we made it. Let's pull some flares. Lucy went back to London last night. It was windy, she coped, um, but it's time for the next victim. We're gonna pick up Sam, who's in a rusting ship over there. It's time for day two. <laughs> this is brilliant. It's crazy, isn't it? Hey Sam, hey. Do, you wanna, do you wanna come on a speedboat? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. A little bit of a project. <laughs> going to make it into an art centre. And um, it's going to be workspaces, recording studio. Absolutely massive. Huge, right? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. What time are we leaving? <laughs> it's going to be like the <laughs> most staged thing. <laughs> Nervously getting ready. <laughs> Good start. Okay. Pound a litre. How much? Um. That's diesel. What about petrol? Uh. Bobbing here with the smell of petrol, just mm -hmm. drifting in. to Dover. Thank you very much. Very polite. So from London to Ramsgate was 35 litres of fuel and uh, now we're making the short trip to Dover. Only 14 miles. Hopefully it's not going to be as choppy. Fingers crossed because that nearly killed me. <laughs> going past Deal here. We've got to watch out for that lobster pot. But the boat's running really nicely. These waves are actually perfect. We're heading to Dover, but it's running so well, we could, in theory, we could actually keep going and get to Brighton, which was the initial plan. We've done nearly 10 miles since we put that wave on. going past the White Cliffs of Dover. It's actually, everything's running really well. We're making good time. So um, we might see if we can press on for another 50 miles and get to Eastbourne. Sam's got a real taste for the, um, the old, uh, <laughs> it, yeah. it's mindless, isn't it? <laughs> it's just ragged. Quicker to make Eastbourne. I guess we must be a hundred miles from London now, probably is. It's like passing Dover is actually quite a landmark. This is the busiest shipping channel in the world. I think it's something like 500 ships a day cross between England and France. And so we're gonna pass this shipping channel and hopefully um, not uh, hit any ships on the way. But there are loads of ships out there. But I really want to get to Eastbourne and get to the distance. Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, this is Rib Goodwin, just east of Dover. Good afternoon, this is Dover Pocketrol, good afternoon sir, what are your intentions please? 
Uh, we're looking to uh, pass through the channel and continue west. Of course, thanks very much. He said no, just don't hit it. So that was the Port Patrol, they could just see us coming in and um, they were just saying don't hit that ferry. So I guess we're going to have to gun it past the ferry basically yeah. and just go for it. There's the ferry coming in. The ferry is a long way off. beach which is very nice and uh, a seal keeps popping his head up over here to uh, see what we're up to and he obviously thinks we're complete idiots which uh, in a way we are had we shut the flight case the camera might have survived so this is all the stuff drying out here unfortunately this camera is full of water memory cards drying out drone battery got wet I think that'll probably be okay there's still a lot of water in it we go for a battery the only lasting thing we've got left We've got these inflatable rollers which are going to um, hopefully allow us to move this boat up the beach. This is either going to be absolutely shit or amazing. We need to get this boat moving. If we don't get it on these rollers, we've got to move this in the middle of the night when the tide comes in. Now in theory, I might be able to push it. Yeah. Good, yeah. Depth gauge is now destroyed on this. Yeah. Well, at least we turned it round. So we can turn it round some more. In theory, we're going to launch in down there and then we're going to go and anchor it off. Which is what we should have done in the first place. There's our friend the seal.
So we're going to go and anchor out somewhere sort of here. Okay, I'm coming. There she is, sitting there. Got the anchor light on. It's a nice one, Sam. Just doing some downloading in the tent. So we're just drying out the cases here. Okay, just drying out the 5D and the lens there. Not sure how that's gonna do. But it's nice and warm here, isn't it? It's lovely, mate. Yeah. Morning, Sam. Morning, mate. How you doing, Harry? The boat's still there. Good, that's good news. There it is. Got the baked beans on the goat. Just burnt them slightly. Wind's getting up, which is good for drying clothes, but not so good for... Uh... Right, let's go and get the boat stamp. The wind's got up a bit. One person could hold it into wind, couldn't they? So there's a rock here. There's one here as well. Bloody hell. Not too bad now, isn't it? This is the, this is the easy right, bit. Yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty dicey for a while there. Yeah, yeah, crazy. All good. We hit the propeller on a rock on uh, leaving the beach, which uh, means that it's now we're drastically down on power, and it's the water spraying over the top. Um, we basically had a horrific time, but fortunately we're now only two miles from uh, Eastbourne Marina. Where hopefully we can park this up and. Um, Think about what we've done. Eastbourne, party town. Here we are in Eastbourne Marina, very civilized. Um, looking a little worse for wear. So, the problem we have. Try and get it close up. Unfortunately, the propeller. It's broken there and completely sheared off there. So we need a new propeller basically, which is um, pretty expensive and it also means we can't really go any further for a bit. So we're going to leave this here for a few days while we work out what kind of propeller to get. This was a bit of a disaster. In here I had the camera and all of the uh, gubbins. And over here, we have the drone case. Unfortunately, this filled completely with water. Right, we're coming back, don't panic. Just gonna go and um, get a new propeller, fix some things inside, work out how to stop all the cameras from getting destroyed. We're coming back. Sam's ready to go home as well, aren't you, Sam? Yeah, mate. Good trip. <laughs> and he, he hates it, he wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a lovely time, but I'm ready to go home. Are you ready to go home? Yeah. 